God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him glory. You might as well just go ahead, press tag and share because I got something for you. Hallelujah. Oh, God is good. God is good. God is good. You know, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays is when I give the prophetic class. And I'm going to tell you, oh, God, hallelujah. Y'all just don't know. I got so much information. When you don't see me get on here, I'm going to tell you everything. Um, God is doing something and it's so powerful. I'm telling you, I've never felt God, heard God, received God the way I am. And it is just a blessing, but also it's warfare, uncommon warfare. Well, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know y'all haven't seen me on here, right? I've been doing what I do is um, I, I used to like to do the audios, but they broke them up so bad. So I, sometimes I have to get up on here and just hold the phone. And the reason why, and I'm going to tell you, because y'all need to know everything was going on in this season. It's high trees in this season, meaning that a lot of saints, a lot of saints are doing bad stuff for money. A lot of saints are doing bad stuff. I'm telling y'all better stop. This not the season. It's the spirit of Cain and Abel, says the Lord. And I'm going to be real with y'all. Ever since I started this series on witchcraft, I mean, I got attacked. Where I Sometimes where I couldn't get up on here. I mean physically. And what I mean by that is the enemy attacked my body. Then not only that, spiritually. I'm talking about he'd been trying to. So, but he just didn't know who he was messing with. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because all I did, like we ended the fast on the 20th first and congratulations to all those that stuck through because I, I got some information for y'all i kept going and I, I don't know when i'm gonna stop i can't stop i can't stop hallelujah y'all don't hear me i can't stop because guess what god is taking me somewhere this is not even about prosperity yes god is blessing me on that end but this is about our soul you see let me tell you something i finally understand the whole assignment and when you understand the whole assignment that god give you because it, it comes in revelation and the only way you can get revelation is is isolation and the only way you can be isolation is dedication and the only way you can be dedication is come on somebody relation ship it has to be a love thing you have to fall in love with god more than money more than your friends more than your family more than you y'all ain't ready for me today hallelujah up in here up in here it has been some warfare and let me tell you something oh i'm going here today if your outsiders know your business check your insiders and hold on they're called close cuts See, the enemy can't get close to me, not in a stranger. So that means everybody that's around me, I have to stay prayed up because it's close cuts because it'd be people closest to you that stab you with a knife. Yeah, I'm saying it. Get mad if you want to. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me. Jesus needed Judas. That's why God says in Psalm 23, I bless you in the presence of your enemies. I'm full of the Holy Ghost today. I'm telling you, I'm on one. Hallelujah. You see, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I, I do the class, and I and I have commanded them by the Lord to fast and pray. So y'all don't understand what that means. God says, "Command ye me." Let me tell you why a lot of people not getting their blessings. You're not doing what it takes. Oh, let me stay on the subject because I'm so full, but I got to go with the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something. Any minute came in the body of Christ, and he did a good number. He got everybody looking at blessings, but not lessons. He got everybody. You see, that's why you have to watch what you drink, what you eat, what you hear. Because here's the deal. He sees, he's confusing the atmosphere of the world to where everybody has to listen to music all the time or look at TV for entertainment. If you understand what our ancestors, and, that, and I don't know if y'all understand. When y'all read that Bible, do you understand that that's your ancestors? Yes, that's your kin. So all they did was, hold on, they focused on Jesus. They focused on God. That's why they were more powerful. And I, I'm learning that secret. I don't want to be of the world because he says, come eat out of them. Separate yourself. Yeah, everybody going to look at you crazy. about What you doing? What you mean what I'm doing? What you doing? And why are you touching the unclean thing? And why are you trying to be a star? Oh, he, really, he, he revealed that to me too. Y'all ain't going to like me today. Were there any stars in the Bible? Then why y'all trying to be stars? There were servants. There were men and women of God that had power. Hallelujah. Power to heal. Power to deliver. Hallelujah. Power to preach that gospel with power. That's what this is about. And then we not all that great. Because it is it, downloaded through God, through the spirit of God. Hallelujah. So let me go to my subject. I told you I'm full. So y'all you, going to get it. Witchcraft, the spirit of greed and pride. That's what's commanding this world, God says. Y'all ain't ready for me. The enemy came into the church. 
Oh, I got to walk this thing out the way God said to walk it out. Let me slow myself down. The enemy came into the church and what he started doing is, you know how we was we was kind of like skeptical of everything back in the day. And and hold on, we called it like it was. So now the enemy came in with the prosperity message and he said, you know, it's time for y'all to stop getting out of tradition. Well, hold on. You mean the tradition worked for all our ancestors, but his name is not supposed to work for this generation. Come on, somebody. I'm going to break that thing down to you so smooth. You're going to have to understand. So he tricked us on there. Let's break tradition. We, we need to get the kids excited. We got to get the people excited. Jesus never broke tradition. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus never broke tradition. Hallelujah. Abraham, Moses, Isaac, they never broke tradition. Jacob, as a matter of fact, they were commanded to teach in each generation. Read your Bible because some of y'all don't understand the Bible. Hallelujah. So let me walk this thing out. So the prosperity message came. So then that brought in the suits and then the attire change. Now people start what wearing more fleshly stuff. Men and women of God start to fall because guess what? I don't care. We're only human. We're only human. You get somebody fine before you want to stutter too. Uh, uh, you, oh, I'm the only one. Stop playing. Stop playing. People look good. People fine. Hallelujah. That's why God say, we're the holy garment. All y'all ain't ready for me. I'm going to walk this thing out. I'm talking about the spirit of greed. Walk with me though. So basically, then after that, then they changed the preaching. They didn't stick to the script. They didn't skip, um, um, stick to biblical application. My Bible over there, dark on it. That's okay. Oh, it's actually right here. Uh, well, anyway, y'all know what I'm saying. I was going to get it and shake it. But anyway, they didn't stick to the Bible. So now they started bringing good messages. Oh, I'm going so well. Because when you read that Bible, let me tell you something. I'm not that great. Oh, trust me, I didn't did all kind of stuff that I wasn't supposed to do. Hallelujah. But I'm, I'm going to tell you what changed Apostle Deanna and it'll change your life too. I got in that word and I stay in that word. And when I and when I can't read the word, I listen to it on audio. Y'all ain't ready for me because guess what? The enemy got us busy. Y'all ain't ready for me today. So let me continue. So, so then the messages change. It wasn't messages of conviction anymore. It's the messages of entertainment. Oh, God, God bless you. Don't you want to be blessed? Oh, get out of here. Because to be honest with you, and I'm understanding this, I'm starting to understand this myself. So everything I'm telling y'all, I'm learning myself. We never learned the value of a dollar. So now you got people just want money, but they end up because they don't know how to budget the money or they don't do what God says. That's why God says in the Bible, do not put your money out to usury. You know what that means? Stuff that don't, that, that's not of God. Hallelujah. So half of you, uh, better yet, 98% of you are going right there because guess what? As soon as you get some money, you go and do something that God didn't even tell you. God didn't tell you. Let me tell y'all something. Man, I got to work this thing out, so bear with me because you know y'all like to... Y'all, some of y'all short attention span. You, you better get to more God. You better get with God and understand how to listen and pray and hear. Hallelujah. For those that have an ear, let them hear. Let me tell you something. I don't move without God. If God don't tell me to go shopping, I ain't going to shop. Y'all can say what y'all want. So you'll see me in the same thing. I don't care. Because guess what? I got to do what God said to do. Somebody might need a blessing. Somebody might need a bill paid. Somebody might need this. I don't have, hallelujah. You don't get to do what you want to do with the money that God blessed you. Mm. Hey, for you out right there. You don't get to do that. Y'all don't hear me. Called the spirit of greed. Greed and in greed is you think is a need. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me walk this thing out in pride. I don't have to do that. Self-entitlement, I don't have to do that. Oh, I'm going to walk with me. So now flesh came in. No more no more preaching the Bible for real. Flesh come in, not entertainment, because not everybody want feel good messages. Because one thing about the pure word of God, it will convict you. It'll call you a liar. It'll call you a thief. It'll call you adultery. Jesus said, you, you generation of vipers. Jesus calling people snakes. So hold on. Now I'm finna get y'all the ones that say we being too cruel. So if Jesus did it, how come we can't do it? Because Jesus would call it like it was. Oh, so I'm going to walk this thing. It's a lot of information. Please share this video. I feel full. Everybody have different mandates. There are some people that have a mandate to love and, and, and you are the meek. There are some people that have a mandate just to serve. That's what you do. There are some people that have a mandate of correction, i.e. me. There are some people we have different mandates. And I had to learn that because I didn't understand why people would act the way they do or do what they do. We have different mandates. So stop, stop tripping. Your mandate might not be mandate, but it's still mandated. Hallelujah. So let me get to the, the spirit of hand, the spirit of witchcraft. And the reason why they came against me so hard. I mean, I've had warfare, but it haven't been this heavy in a long time. 
So I said, oh, they don't like me talking about warfare. And then they cutting out my videos. Y'all quit writing me on YouTube, Facebook, all, all of me. I can't, what I'm supposed to do? I have the brand new everything. So it's not me. Then people don't want my feed to go out because let me tell you something. And I'm not trying to glorify myself because that's a sin before God. They know what I got inside of me. So when you're listening to me, you're listening to the spirit of God. I ain't all that. Come on, somebody. How he just using me? I'm a servant. And he know one thing is going to burn some stuff. Hallelujah. It's going to free you. It's going to heal you. It's going to deliver. It's going to touch you. Hallelujah to his name. Ain't nobody playing. So they don't want that. They don't want that. Mm -mm. No, no, no. They don't, they don't mind the fake ones. And y'all going to catch that in a minute. Why the ones that where they're at, you, it, everything is by design. Y'all think the popular ones were just God just with them, huh? There are Pharisees and Sadducees. Y'all ain't going to like me today. Y'all ain't going to like me. But let me get to the story at hand. So then y'all remember when we used to take people to church and it was fun. I'm talking about when you first got saved, you was all gung-ho. Oh, I want to tell everybody about Jesus because we knew how important it was to save a soul. They didn't water down the gospel until now you got people out there dying. You see what's going on in the world? Y'all don't want this to touch y'all, church. It's our fault. I said I, so the don't get mad, but it's true. It's our fault. Because we're so busy up there trying to get rich. Oh, come on, somebody, how are you trying to be prosperous? Trying to do this, trying to do that. Until you ain't walking with no anointing that you can't stop nothing. Hallelujah to his name. Jesus, that's why, I, you know, I'm getting this thing. I'm getting this thing. That's why Jesus said, a son of man have no place to lay his head. Jesus was letting us know, be about your father's business. Don't worry about this stuff. And I'm not saying that it's not good to have stuff. That's not what I'm saying. But what is your mandate? What is your assignment? And are you really doing your assignment? Because I'm going to tell you now, I couldn't understand why. Oh, hallelujah. I feel heavy, y'all. You got to understand what I mean heavy. I mean, the spirit of God is so heavy. Oh, my God. Tears in my eyes right now. Let me tell y'all something. I did not understand why I had to go through what I had to go through. And y'all have to forgive me. I get a little emotional. I've been through some stuff. I had to, oh, I'm going transparent today. I don't care who like it because guess what? If you've been following me, you know. I had to live with this person, that person, this person, that person, treating me bad too, acting like uh, I wasn't no apostle and I had no anointing. Y'all ain't ready for me. Disrespecting me to my face, what they didn't do. And I forgive them all. So if you're looking at it, don't worry, I thank you. Cause you pushed me into my destiny. Hallelujah to his name. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh y'all thought I was, no, I ain't, I ain't doing all that. But I didn't understand why I had to go through that. I said, God, it's hard. It's embarrassing. I got tears in my eyes. Y'all have to forgive me. It, 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 it hurts it hurt so bad. I said, am I really anointed? Am I who you say I am? Not understanding that he was taking me somewhere. I need you to feel pain like you ain't never felt. And yet walk in love and forgive. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. He said, because then you're ready for your destiny. You see, it's almost like the, the, the story of Joseph. People don't understand why Joseph went through what he had to go through. And some of you don't understand why you're going through what you had to go through. In order for you to walk in your destinies and go to greatness, you got to go through what others didn't go through or couldn't go through. Hallelujah. Some people broke. Oh, you only ready for me. God will take you in a valley, out the valley, in a valley. I'm talking about make you feel like you want to die. Hallelujah today. People are lying on your mocking, your family will turn their back, talk about you. You all ain't ready for me. It'll be so much stuff that will break you literally, but he's not trying to kill you. He's, he's taking all that stuff out of you. Oh, come on, somebody. All the pride, all this, all that, whatever's in you, that's not of him. And this is how you're looking at you. You say, no, you ain't ready yet. That's why some of you talking about, I've been going through it for years. Let me tell you something, because you still got stuff in you. No, you ain't ready yet. And then just when you, he start, you start looking like him, he say, he released that pressure. He said, okay. All right. Oh, y'all don't understand. You're going through, you're going through it. You're going through the fire and you shall come out as pure gold. Hallelujah. That's what that fight's about. That's what that stuff is about. That's why you're going through it and you're not supposed to give up in the midst of it. Hallelujah. But we're talking about the spirit of greed and pride because it, it all go together. It It's all, it's all together, said the Lord. So let me continue. So the enemy came into the church and got people tripping. Got everybody competing, the spirit of competition, who wants to be the best. I'm about to mess y'all up. I'm serious. Share this live because this is a rima word from God. Don't you know that if you are the greatest, meaning that you have a heavy anointing, that you also receive a great death? The apostles, i.e., 
Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. So all of you that sit up there talking, I want to be the best apostle. I want to be the best prophet. I want to be the most anointed. Are you ready for what you're asking for, saith the Lord? Because the warfare, I can't tell you. I was in them streets doing whatever. I can't lie to y'all. Everybody could tell you from Abbeville, Louisiana, and from Sacramento, California, wherever I was, I could. I did some damage, okay? Couldn't understand why God would use something like me. Now I understand. He said, because all that stuff you did, you was hard then, but now you have to be harder in the body of Christ. And I didn't say ugly. I didn't say violent. I didn't say coming against people like you're crazy. But you're going to have to stand for me. And you're going to have to die for me. That's what I'm talking about. You ready for that? Because y'all want to be the most anointed. But are you ready? Because them people not playing when they come for martial law and new world order. They coming for us first. The most anointed. And I'm not just bragging. I'm not trying to do. I know what I carry. Hallelujah to his name. So let me continue about the spirit of greed and pride. So now you got, they start putting the preachers on TV. Oh, I'm walking this thing out today. Hallelujah. Walk heavy or not at all, class. And so they start putting people on TV. Lee Rod Thompson, all of them. Prosperity, I remember. All of them. Money coming now and all this other stuff. And it went forth a deception. To where people started, to, I want to be like T.D. Jakes. I want to be like Joe Osteen. I want to be like them. And I'm not coming against nobody. But if the shoe fits, lace it up and wear it. Are they really heavily anointed? Now, hold on. T.D. Jakes used to be bishop. Let me give him his, real, real, his title. And y'all, another thing, y'all talking about titles. Let me tell you something. If God, God, didn't God give prophets, apostles? So what you talking about? Y'all need to stop with that. Oh, I don't need a title. Yes, you do. Because people need to know who you are. And that is an agreement with God. Whatever God ordained you to be, he sustains you to be. So y'all should stop that. I'm going to the flow of the Holy Spirit today. So don't, hey, look, just follow me. Walk with me. So getting back to that. Are these people truly anointed these days? All those ones that's on the TV? Are they? Although they just have a great following. I'm just asking you to go to God. And look, ain't nobody hating you. God is uncovering every lie and everything of the enemy in this hour. That's why y'all seeing such a turbulence. There's a shift, a dimensional shift, or there's a change of the guards, meaning that what is up must come down and what is down must come up. Hallelujah. And that's why you've been going through it because God is pressing you. God is pressing you. God is literally pushing you into your destiny and it don't feel so good. huh? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So what we're talking about, the spirit of greed and pride. So now they got on TV and they started doing all this stuff. I'm talking about hooking and crooking and looking. And so now you got people wanting to be famous. And, and y'all can look at the flyers. I do this all the time because it's just, that gets on my nerves. I'm sorry. You don't look like no, no soldier. You look like a whole model. You might as well just go to Hollywood. Stop playing. Stop playing. Go to Hollywood. Quit playing. Because this stuff here, real talk. This stuff get real. <laughs> this stuff, I'm talking about demons come for you for real when you're anointed. The seven sons of Sceva. Paul, I know, and Jesus, I know, but who are you? <laughs> We're talking about the spirit of greed and pride. So now, then we started seeing the entourages with, with them, where you couldn't even get to the pastor because they got 10 people following them. Jesus ain't had nobody follow him. Sometimes he say, look, we're here. I'm going there. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere about the spirit of greed that has come up on this earth and in the church and pride because they go hand in hand. I told you, not just one spirit, is always a lot of spirits working. So let me tell you, God was saying, Deanna is coming to a spirit of greed where you don't help your brother and sister, even your family members. Y'all don't understand what the enemy have done. The enemy have turned everybody against everybody. Competition. Oh, that's the number one thing. Competition. I got to be better than my brother, my sister, and sometimes family. Sometimes you will have people competing with you on the low, low, as if you are not family or related. Y'all don't understand. That's all the spirit of greed. I got to have more. I got to have more. I got to have more. Why is it when the Bible, every battle that Jesus commanded the Israelites to do, how come when they wanted more, he said, I need less? He was trying to tell us, God have always been speaking. People say, well, God don't talk to me. God's been talking and, 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 and it's not stopped. I stopped it. Are you listening? Because that's another thing. When you go into prayer, you're supposed to be quiet after you petition. Because most of you, God, I need this. God, I want this. God, give me a husband. Give me a wife. Give me money. Give me this. Give me that. Have you ever just went before God and said, here is your servant, God. I'm here. And just lay down and listen. That's how I get most of my, all of my messages. And that's how I get directions even in my life. 
I used to do the same thing, so I'm not talking about you like that, but I used to do the same thing. But when you learn to mature, you learn to listen. What do you say, God? Then you start learning to obey God. Is Am I supposed to go that way? Because a lot of you are not supposed to be even in the marriages you're in, but you're in it because guess what? They were fine, good credit score, or better yet, the church put y'all together. I'm talking about the spirit of greed and pride because that's what's running this nation right now. Then flesh came in the church. Now people start wearing everything. Well, come as you are, that's a lie before God. You are not, i tell you something, and I'm going with scripture. Do you remember the priests of the old tabernacle? When they would come before God, if they were unholy, they would fall down dead. So you mean to tell me the same God of yesterday, today, yesterday, and, and, uh, and forevermore is the same God that don't mind you coming in half naked? Somebody lying. Stop lying. I'm talking about the spirit of greed. When was the last time that you blessed your family member or a person that you know didn't have groceries? We're talking about the spirit of greed and the spirit of pride. And God just told me also throwing out a spirit of jealousy. We're not supposed to be jealous of each other. Let me tell you how I do it. When I see people getting blessed, I say, I'm next. And it may not be in that way because what God has for you is for you. And what God has for another person is for another person. But the enemy came in, all oh, these spirits of the same. Oh, look, and some of you get so jealous. Why do you think people are killing people out there? Robbery, stealing, they're recording murders. And I don't understand that. I got just 200 and something signatures. So y'all like recording murders. Y'all know y'all want people to record murders. Now, I didn't say record, you know, activity that's not of God or somebody's doing somebody wrong. It record that. But I'm just saying, I don't know. God made me throw that in there, whatever. It's sad. Don't y'all see what the world has come to? Sodom and Gomorrah to the 10th power, says the Lord. And that's because people want to do what they want to do. But God said, be mindful of the way you treat your brother. Be mindful of the way you treat your sister. Be mindful when he bless you with money. Do what he says, said the Lord. That's what this video is about. The spirit of greed. Well, God, I, I don't know, God. I got to take care of me. Okay. So you're not trusting God to take care of you, but you say this is the God that you serve and the God that you love. And the, Really? That's what this is all about. And then a spirit of try, try, a spirit of entitlement. Like you were entitled. You don't mistreat people on no level. I'm telling y'all, you got to be mindful and careful. I'm telling you, you're going to get it back and you don't know how you're going to get it back. And will you be able to take what you get back? We're talking about the spirit of greed, the spirit of pride. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. There is a reason that you are where you're at. There's a reason that God called you. There's a reason you went through what you went through. There is a reason. The enemy is trying to abort your destiny, said the Lord, through spirits of greed, pride, jealousy, and even hate and anger. Can I ask you something? Why are there so many um, angry Christians? Hmm? Why are you so angry? I know life can get hard. Or I know, don't tell me nothing because I haven't been there and still go through stuff. So please. And I'm going to tell you every time. And, 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 and maybe if I share this, this will help you have a different perspective. When people do me wrong and all kind of stuff. I used to get very angry. Now I start praying. And here's the deal. Because if you put that stuff in your heart, now you have a spirit of bitterness along with the anger, rage, and now you're inviting his cousins to come, which is greed, pride, rebellion, all this other stuff. You're supposed to give that stuff to God. God, I give it to you. I don't understand what's happening. And then you, instead of cursing people, hold on. You know how you curse people when you talk about them like a dog? That's curse words. Anything that's not blessing or curse words. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, let me let me walk this thing out. Hold on. Let me make sure I touch on every subject. I had to write it down. Hold on. What God wanted me to say to y'all today. Woo! Y'all, y'all, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. Praise God. Praise God. So God say, watch what you speak to. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those that love should eat the food thereof. Stop saying, I'm going through this, and this is happening. Reverse the curse. The enemy has sent out stuff. The enemy always sending out stuff against the children of God. I don't care what you say, but you got to reverse it. No, I'm not going through this. Now I'm not sick. The devil is a liar. I don't receive that because let me tell you something. That may be truth, but it ain't fact. And you know how it ain't fact? Because Jesus died on the cross for everything. Hallelujah. So everything that you got some a problem with, go to that Bible and reverse the curse, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. 
So I just wanted to get up on here and talk to you about the witchcraft. You guys, let me tell you something. That's what they're using. You know how we summon God, Father God, anoint me, let the Holy Spirit fall on me? They summon the devil. And I'm going to tell you, that's why y'all feel the shift in the world today. Because they're using witchcraft through the food, through the water. Some of y'all still not flushing your hair. Y'all think it's a game. Why y'all think our kids are going missing? I know y'all don't like this kind of talk, but it's real. Are you praying over your family? Are you praying over your possessions? Are you fasting? You guys, we're in, we're in a spiritual battle. You got to fast or you won't last. You are trying to do it in the flesh. And that's why some of you are feeling wore out and tired, said the Lord. It cannot be done. I don't care how strong you are because I'm one of the strongest people that I know. And I'm not trying to brag. I can't do it like that. I have to go to that flow. And let me tell you what happens on the floor. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. When you go on the floor and you're praying and you just lay before the Lord. And I've seen this in the spirit. And I'm not kidding. And I felt it last night because I was so heavy hearted. When you laying down, God takes his hand. He literally takes his hand and he do like this. My child, rest my child. And he takes everything away, stress, worry, everything. And that's why the next day you feel be like, oh, I feel better today. That's because God took it all away. That's why you got to go on that flow. God, I give it to you. I give you every burden, everything that I'm, I'm worried about, everything that I'm going through. Some of you trying to pay people back. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. See, when people did me wrong, I used to get mad and say stuff. I ain't going to lie. I was wrong for that. Now I just go to the flow. And I just pray. I say, God, it was tears in my eyes. I say, God, you see what's going on. And you know what? I'm And, and I'm not trying to be funny. You know what God says? I got this. Don't worry about it. And here's the deal. When you do see I'm going through stuff, don't rejoice. Truth be told, I feel sorry for him even more. So I'd be like, wow, God, you know, I didn't ask you to do that. But y'all got to understand when Moses put his mouth, when, when Miriam, Moses' sister, put his mouth on, put her mouth on Moses, what happened? She had leprosy. And Moses went to God and said, God, please, you know, God rebuke Moses. Get out of my business. She ain't going to never put her mouth on you again. Y'all ain't ready for me, huh? Y'all don't know, y'all don't know application. Y'all don't know biblical application. Y'all don't know God. Y'all don't know the protocol of God. They're not teaching that. They're teaching all this prosperity and everybody want to be a star and everybody want to be the most famous in the body of Christ. Please, we are servants. We are servants of the living God and we are vessels. And he says, some is to gold and some is to wood. Hallelujah to his name. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, yeah, they didn't need nobody, God. You right, sister. They sure didn't. Praise God, praise God. God is good. God is so good, you guys. But also, I want to do something right quick. I want to thank all those, and this is not trying to be funny or nothing like that, but God told me to do it. Um, Anybody that want to tie it into the ministry, because I am planning, uh, I'm planning something. Well, no, God is asking me to do it. Some big things, and I'm like, Okay, God, and I trust him. Trust me. Come on, I trust him. So I, I am trying to get a building. So I thank you for the cards. This one is from um, Lynette. Is it Lynette? I think it's Lynette. Um, but I thank you so much for the cards. You know, some people are writing and tidying. Um, It is Apostle Deanna Dixon, Post Office Box 15922. Augusta, Georgia, 30909. Thank you. That is so pretty. And look look what it says, you guys. It says, God is always with you. There's no sweeter place to be than wrapped in the love, in the love of God. I, it might not mean much to nobody else, but this is why I do what I do. Everything else is just a bonus. It's the little things, but hey. Also, um, y'all write letters. Patrice Abbott, I am praying for you. I am praying for you. Also... Uh, and, and I started, I just started doing this. I, I haven't been doing it. I have a lot more letters. I'm so sorry. Miss Jeanette L. Masters from Jacksonville, Arizona. Yeah, I'm praying for you. I got you. Um, also, Marcel Heinken. And I'm so sorry if I'm chopping up people. Now, y'all know I'm from Louisiana. I'm praying for you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. So if you want prayer, you ain't got to say nothing let me tell you something. This is how I roll. God, touch your heart and touch your heart. If you don't, guess what? He got me. You know, I ain't supposed to be big. All right. Patricia Bullock. I got you. I got you. I'm praying for you. Um, Miss Jacqueline Arias. I'm praying for you. Thank you so much. And also, last but not least today. Ooh, Lord. Oh, Keith Smith. 
Apostle Keith Smith, Alexander, Virginia. Thank you, sir. God bless you. I got you. All right. So um, that's all God told me to tell y'all. I love y'all with the love of Christ. Witness to somebody. Help them with the sinner's prayer. You guys, the harvest is ripe, but labels are few, said the Lord. So I love you guys in Christ. Pray for me. Wait a minute. Only those that have a prayer life. If you ain't got no prayer life, don't pray for me because them devils after me. I'm. If I told y'all what happened just last night, I'm like, wow. And that's why, like I told y'all, we start. We ended the 21 day fast on the 29th. I'm still fasting because I can't stop. I can't. I'm like, oh, his own. And if his own, his own. All right. So God bless you. Be. Oh, thank you, Lord. Come on, me to encourage y'all. Be encouraged. For the real ones, we're going through. But you got a tunnel vision. You have a. Oh, come on, somebody. You ever heard of that second wind? Whatever it take. Whatever it take. Y'all don't hear me. Whatever it take. You got to do some of y'all. You started off strong, but they, they were don't in this season. The enemy is trying to think he thinks just like Daniel said, he thinks to wear out the saints. You got to ask God, God, give me that second win so I can go on. Give me that second win. Rest if you must, but don't quit, said the Lord. God says that he has not forgotten about you, and this is our turn. And the wealth of the unjust is laid up for the just, said the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give in. This And it's all about money. It's about your assignment. How you going to go? How you going to do your assignment without? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you got to wait on God. It's God's timing. It's not your timing. Trust me, I had to learn that dog. I have been. God, where you at? <laughs> so God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Oh, I like that one too. You can't be offended. Many people get offended of truth. I grow in it. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. If it's of God. <laughs> All right, you guys. Rule our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.